Hey Dan. Thursday night. Um, I don't know. It's about uh, eight o'clock. Hey. Hey John. Hey Sarah. Sit down on my porch, you know. Um, what? No, no, I'm good. I got uh, all the moose jerky I could eat. Yep. No, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. No, I'm fine. So anyway, um. Thursday night and haven't done a video for a few days. I thought I'd pop one in. Um, funniest thing to uh, happen this week is I am now in a co-ed uh, volleyball league. And uh, so, you know, I went out there. It's been, what, probably 20 years since I played volleyball moderately competitively uh, in college. And these guys take it pretty seriously. It's the same people I play softball with. Um, they have an offense. They have a setter. You know, this whole, this whole thing. And I go out there and I think, hey, what the hell, this sounds like fun. So, um, we start warming up. And the very first thing I do is I throw the ball to the setter. And I run up and I leap as high as I can. And I take this gigantic swat at the ball. Um, practically missed it. Almost threw my shoulder out. Uh, and landed awkwardly. But all in all, it was, uh, it was, um, I think it boded well. It bad well. It bade well. Bowed well. Boded well. Bowed. Um, um, yeah, anyway, look it up. So, um, Sunday was our practice. Um, Monday was our game. And the funniest thing that happened in the game, actually, I was in the back row, and uh, a ball was hit, deflected to my left. Um, left. And... Uh, and actually, I dove for it, much like this. You recognize this dive? I'm sure you do. I dove for it. Oh, out of the camera range. Dove for it. Hit it up in the air. And then proceeded to do, in mid-dive, a cartwheel. Landed completely out of it. The ball hit the ground. It hit it hard enough, unfortunately. And everyone stopped and stared at me for about two and a half seconds. And I thought... You know, did my underwear fall off, or what's going on? And then they all burst out laughing. Um, I take it cartwheels are not a common thing for 40-year-old men to be doing at so uh, volleyball. Um, and I'm probably, I'm sure it looked terrible. It didn't look anything like, um, you know, when I used to play goalie, or when you used to play goalie, for that matter. Um, but, dang it, you know what? I did a cartwheel and landed it without even thinking about it. It was great. Um, so... Um, Needless to say, I had a great time. I mean, I dove all over the place. My hips are killing me because I kept landing on the hard court. Um, my elbows are killing me. My wrists are killing me from when I landed. Um, I, got a, I got one block and no kills. Unfortunately, my timing is terrible right now. Um, but it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. And we are sponsored, of course, like all parks and rec teams across America, by a bar um, called Schneeps. Uh, which sounds to me like something right out of Dr. Seuss. Uh, anyway, it's S-C-H-N-I-E-P-S, maybe. Anyway, Schneeps. So, as is their habit, we went to Schneeps after the volleyball game, which we lost. Um, and uh, Monday Night Football was on, so it was Green Bay versus the Vikings, which was, you know, a great place to be in a little towny bar. And this is a bar that's Literally in the middle of a neighborhood, um, house, 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 bar, house, 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 house. So it's it's actually really interesting because it's um, it's it's the role I, I and I really believe this. It those little towny bars, those little neighborhood bars, played the same role that neighborhood grocery stores played so long ago. The difference being that. Um, you know, Walmart and all the other big grocery stores ran the small grocery store. Well, long before Walmart, but you know, the big grocery stores, um, Safeway, ran the small neighborhood grocery stores out of business. But and but same thing with the neighborhood churches; those are not there anymore either. But the neighborhood bars have survived, which I mean, obviously speaks to the addiction of um, you know Americans to alcohol for starters, but. But I think it's more than that because you know fully half the people in the bar were not drinking, um, at least to excess. I'm sure they were drinking, um, but it was just um, it's it's where 
people go. Anyway, I, I'll talk more about that later. But anyway, schnitz, um, one thing that they served was a, um, th- they have great fried food. Of course, a lot of bars have great fried food. But this one has a hamburger that's served with cheese and a fried egg. So I call it a fried egg and cheeseburger. As if the cholesterol on the meat wasn't was bad enough, they throw an egg on it and probably mayonnaise too. Um, I thought it was hilarious, of course. I didn't have one um, because, you know, my body is a temple. But, um, but no, I didn't have one. Um, but I'm going to uh, next Monday. So you can look for my video as I have a coronary um, from this fried egg and cheese hamburger. Anyway, um, so that was Schneeps. That was volleyball. Uh, we're playing every Monday. Um, and then I have a men's league that starts in the winter time. Um, but uh, anyway, it's um, it was it was actually a lot of fun, absolutely a lot of fun. I don't know if I contributed much, probably not, but I had a great time. Um, but on a different note, um, I watched your parade video. Um, I love your title, dress up parade. Of course, the last dress up parade I went to, that's not what people were. They were wearing leather, but not they weren't riding in saddles on horses. Uh, different kind of leather. Uh, different part of the country. Uh, it was in Seattle on Capitol Hill. Um, so I'm upset. Um, here a soccer game, the Black Widow Spider. That's fantastic. I'm glad. Uh, did Taryn find another spider? I hope he did. Um, and um, let's see. Oh, the news. Uh, Homecoming is coming up. Duncan, as you know, is in high school. And I said, Duncan, you know, tonight Beth and I were talking, we're trying to make plans in a couple weeks, and we said, oh man. Homecoming's coming up. And I said, well, Duncan, do you want to go to the homecoming dance? He's like, well, duh. <laughs> of course I want to go. And um, I thought it was really funny because I, I have not the foggiest if I went to homecoming my freshman year. I don't recall that I did. I honestly have no idea. Um, obviously you did because I went and showed uh, the kids here in Sarah's picture. Um, at the Tumwater 86 website. So, um, but, uh, um, you know, it was really interesting because I was trying to talk to him and say, you know, there, there's a, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stress. You know, do I take somebody? Who do I take? Do I go in a group? Do I go by myself? Do I go on a date? And, and he said, well, you know, how are we supposed to get there? And it's like, well, you know, Duncan, unfortunately, you're a freshman. Your dorky parents are going to have to drive you. Um, but we're going to borrow Keith's really nice Lexus and drive him in that. Anyway, um, it's really funny to listen to him and to watch him fret over this. And I actually called um, Dwayne. I think he met Dwayne Bagley. He's a high school teacher at the local high school and asked him about what the you know, current cultures were and, and that sort of thing. But, um, you know, it's kind of it's, it's kind of funny. I, I um, you know, what, what were you thinking? I mean, did you, uh, uh, who asked whom? Did you ask Sarah or did Sarah ask you? But, um, you know, who drove you? Were you nervous? All those things. You know, Duncan is just um, um, really kind of curious. But it's funny because what I said to him was I said, you know, Duncan, when I was in high school, I got almost no help from my parents. Now, had they tried to help me, I probably would have rebuffed them and told them to mind their own business. But, you know, I want to do something between that and being a complete helicopter parent and tell you exactly what to do. But, you know, obviously you're going to need money, you're going to need transportation, you're going to need some logistical help, you know, all of which we can offer. Um, and hopefully, I guess well, what I'm hoping is we can lessen the stress slightly for him so that he can enjoy it. Um, you know, we recommended finding, he's got a good buddy named Josh, going as a double, you know, a double date, go out, have fun, make it so that it's not this gold girlfriend thing. Um, find some female friends that you like and go with them and just enjoy it for what it is. So, um, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, if that's in two weeks, I'll keep you updated on it. Um, but it's, you know, it's fun. It's fun to watch. It's fun to get nervous with them and get slightly misty-eyed thinking about it. Um, um, but, you know, these can be the good things. I remember having... How come I never went to a dance with you? That's what I... Oh, no, we did. You and I... And Melissa and Amy went to a dance, I think. So, anyway, that's my time. It's been 10 minutes. Adios.